Grouping Sheets Grouping sheets is a handy way of making changes to more than one sheet at a time. Here I have used the KM sheet and copied it so that I have a Jan, a Feb, a March, an April and a May sheet and currently they're all the same. However, if you decide, for example, that employee name should have been in red, you now already have multiple sheets, so you'd have to change each sheet individually. You don't if you group the sheet first. You can group more than one sheet by holding down the control key and then selecting the names of the sheets that you'd like to group. Notice that each sheet that you select looks slightly different to the ones that you haven't. Also, on the title bar, you'll see the word group in brackets, showing that you're currently working in a group of sheets. If you click onto a sheet that's not included in the group, you'll notice that all of the other sheets have been deselected and the word group has disappeared from the title. If you want all of the sheets to be included, the easiest thing to do is to right mouse click on one of the sheet names and then choose Select All Sheets. Again, you'll see the word Group at the top and now all sheets are selected. So now you've grouped your sheets, you can now make changes to the sheet that you see on screen and these changes will then take effect on all sheets. So for example, I might decide to change employee name to red, the allowance per km into, let's say, blue, and then the headings across the top here, we might go one bigger and change the background to grey. I'm also going to go down here into my totals and I'm going to change those to red as well. You can also make changes to text. You can insert or delete rows or columns and you can also add new information in. Once you're finished, you can then click into one of the other sheets this then deselects the group, but you'll notice that the changes you've made are now on all sheets.